Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 15th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to continue our discussion on background properties in CSS. So we are working with the more or less the same file. I have made a few changes. Uh, you know, the text in the body is still the same. I've got uh, lyrics from I'm not afraid and there are two paragraphs and within the style section I have uh, style rules applied to two elements, the paragraph element as well as the body element. And I've gotten rid of the background color property for the paragraph element. So we just have, uh, you know, the color and font size properties there. The color is set to white. The font size is set to 18 points. We're still using the background image uh, property and uh, the same file uh, as the image mnm.png. So make sure this file is saved. I'll go to the folder where I have it. I'll open it in my browser and uh, this is how it looks, right? So. Uh, we checked this out in the last tutorial so it hasn't been long and uh, that's why I'm not going to explain the background image property but we're going to talk about some other interesting stuff so let's say you want this image to move a bit you know let's say you want it to move a bit from the left or you want it to move a bit from the top you know you just you're just not happy with its position and you want to change it so the property that you would be using to play with the position of the image is background hyphen position. So you type in background hyphen position, put a colon and let's say you want it to move, uh, you know, maybe 70 pixels from the left. So you would type in 70 pixels here and you want it to move about, you know, 150 pixels from the top. So you, you would type 150 pixels as a second value. I'll save the file and when I refresh it in my browser, I see that the image has moved but you probably cannot make out much because the image is being repeated. So you know you can see Eminem's jacket here while uh, his head has moved down a bit. So in case you want things to be you know more clearer than they are, then uh, what you could do is you could use a background repeat property and set its value to no hyphen repeat right so there's a hyphen in the value there you know you have to pay attention to that when I refresh it in the browser now I see although my text is now not visible part of it is not visible because the color of the text is white and the background is also white so we can't see some of the text but at least now you know how you can change the position of uh, images in your document and uh, I have a, sh a smaller version of this image file mnm.png you know, let me use that now. So that one's called Eminem hyphen short. It's still it's, it's it's in the same directory. And uh, when I use that and uh, refresh, I see that, you know, it's actually much smaller than the original image. And, uh, you know, th the background position property is working on this one, too. So that's why it's, you know, shifted from uh, the original coordinates of zero zero. So let's say uh, let me first get rid of the values for background position and let me get this back to zero zero and let me also change this to no value and when I refresh this in the browser I see that this image is repeated like a zillion times now let's say you want this image to be repeated only along the horizontal axis right in this direction from left to right you don't want it to be repeated from top to bottom so what you'll have to do is for the background repeat property you'll have to type in repeat x as the value right so when i save the file by after typing in that value i see that this image is repeated only along the horizontal axis and uh, if you want it to be repeated along uh, the y-axis then you'll have to type in repeat hyphen y as the value for the background repeat property i'll go and refresh the page and i see now that it's repeated this way from top to bottom so that's it for this tutorial i hope you guys had fun watching this one and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you in the next video in which we'll uh, wrap up our discussion on background properties hopefully check out a few more interesting things and uh, you know uh, see you in the next video take care